Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. CDPR is going to drop 100 new cards on us mid-December. So in about like two weeks, we're going to be getting 100 new cards. We're not getting Thronebreaker, which kind of stinks, but we're going to be getting these 100 cards. Um, I'm blown away. I can't believe we're getting 100. Like We went from getting like mini 20s to five times that. That's crazy. So we might actually meet the um 500 and something that they said by the end of the year which is really great you know them meeting their their deadline or whatever you know requirement they wanted to fill for the year pretty cool so let's take a look at them real quick um first up's the wyvern scale shield it says boost a unit by the initial power of a unit in your hand so it's kind of like spotter but it's an item. I'm wondering if these item cards are going to have their own like special slot or if certain cards are going to be able to pull them like you know like Sage can pull something from your graveyard. I wonder if these are going to be able to get pulled by like some kind of like weapon smith or something like that. That'd be really cool. It's an alright card. Um I think these cards, like the item cards and stuff like that, I think they're mostly focused for draft mode, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the next card is the Peasant Militia. It's a special tactic, and it fills a row with peasants. So currently there's no cap on the how many units you can fill a row with. So we'll have to see what the cap's going to be. Um, it's pretty, if, if it's a X amount of units, I guess though you could keep shuffling around with like Arrakis behemoths because they can just spawn it. Well, they can't really spawn a ton, but they could spawn a lot if you buff them. So we'll have to wait and see. This card seems like it's another one that's going to be more for like a gauntlet arena type thing some type of swarm if you're running Yennefer. Um, next one's the Lesser Demons. Uh, this card's really cool looking. Um, my dog kind of looks like this. And I have a black cat, so I really love the art. The card itself, though, it says move a unit from your deck to your hand and then discard a random card. If it was a pick a card, this card would be really, really good. It would be another one that was would be a fit right in with Skellige. There's, there aren't really any discard synergies with anybody else, so anything that says discard, I just automatically think, you know, Skellige. But if it was pick a card, it'd be probably bonkers. Um, as a random card, it's, it's probably not going to get played that much. So... Uh, now the bonkers card here. Um, Gerald Yurden. Reset all units and remove their tokens. So someone plays Ragnarug for five turns. Everything's still lived. You can put everything back to zero strength. Same thing with Spellatel. You play them. They get their guys up to 30. You drop this. They're back down to, you know, eight and two. <laughs> it's a real kick in the balls, this one. Um, I'll definitely be crafting this one if I don't pull it from the packs. Um, yeah, just this one's the one that really is turning heads right here. Um, Saskia Dragonfire. It's um, banish your hand and draw that many cards. I don't, I don't know why you would want to banish your hand. And there's no, like, like banish hag or nothing like that. So, I'm sure, th to me, this is like the the uh, Avalok Sage card. There's going to be somebody that can pull something off with this once, and that's going to be it. But it's... It's just one of those wow cards. Like you're just gonna be like, oh wow, you know, you have you did that, but is it gonna be worth it? Probably not. All right, down to the monsters. Um, 
I love this card. The werewolf. It's a unit cursed beast immune. And immune means I guess you can't target it with spells. Or or direct damage. I'm not sure if it's direct damage. You could still hit it with like lacerate. But uh, you can't target it with owls or thunder. Um, and then it says strengthened by 7 on contact with moonlight. So moonlight's going to be a positive boon, it looks like. I really like this card. I think this this is really cool. It's got synergy with the beasts and stuff. I think it's really good. And not being able to target it is even better. The Striga, it's a unit relic. Lots of relics uh, looks like are coming our way. So maybe maybe Drag will get some love. But uh, it says deal 8 damage to a non-monster unit. It's not very good. If it, if it was non, if it was just any card, it might be okay. But with with it having that non-monster tag, it's just if you play against monsters, you're it's just five strength. <laughs> so that's no good. This card's really good, and the art on it is awesome. It says uh, it's Weavis Incantation Unit Relic Mage. Mage tag on there, too. I don't think the mages or the crones had mage on them originally. We'll have to, I'll have to double check that. But uh, strengthen all allied, allied relic, relics by two, or play a bronze or silver relic from your deck and strengthen it by two. So if you're doing I don't know how you could spam relics. But if you get a bunch of them on the board, you can buff everything by two. Or just pull a decent relic and give it two more strength. So you can pull the fiend next round, eat it with the ghoul, and it gets an extra you know, two on top of what it had. So it's, I, I think it's a great card. I love the art on it. Um, I'll probably be trying to put relics together second. Um, machines will be first, though, for sure. Uh, Nilfgaard, this card is bananas. Um, Viper School Witcher. Deal three damage. Increase damage dealt by one for each alchemy card in your initial deck. Um, so if you put three crow's eyes in your list, this thing's going to do six damage. For every alchemy card you put in, it's just going to add additional damage. So, this card seems like it's going to be really cool, and hopefully it'll make a different Nilfgaard archetype. Hopefully it won't be as bad as Spies, but it, it looks like something's definitely here with this one. This is probably the best bronze card that's in the set. Definitely a really cool card. Um... Next one up is Cadaverine Venom, and it says choose one, deal two damage on an enemy and all units that share its categories, or destroy a bronze or silver neutral unit. So you can kill Trollolo with this, which is pretty cool. Um, or it's like a, a Lambert spell, uh, a mini Lambert spell, so it'll you know it'll deal two to everything that's the same so like witchers if you got three of these it'll do two damage to it or beasts or whatever but i do like the idea of banishing something uh, especially like trollolo or something they want to they want to res you know jenga fret something like that that would be really cool just to completely el eliminate it from the game um this card looks really cool as well. Uh, Letho Kingslayer. He's a unit witcher. Destroy an enemy leader on the board and boost self by 11. So that's 15. And most leaders are like, you know, 4 or 5 strength unless you go up against Unseen. And if you use this on Unseen, they just instantly quit. <laughs> um, or play a bronze or silver tactic card from your deck. So you can actually pull this. No, it's a special card. 
yeah, it's this card's pretty great. Um, you're probably not going to use it for the leader effect, but probably just to get something out of your deck from your uh, tactics if you're going to build it that way. Depends on what you can do. I don't know if these two are going to be used in the same list, but I think it's pretty cool. It uh, it's got options, you know. I like options on cards. Northern Realms. Here's the card. Now this one's awesome. The Winch. Spawn a bronze Northern Realms machine and boost it by two. So it's a Reaver Scout for your machines. This is awesome. I hope that I hope they get a silver or gold machine this turn, which they might because I mean there's how many cards we got here? One, two, three, four, five, fifteen, seventeen. So we might end up getting a uh, a gold machine or a silver machine. I hope we do, but I, I love the machine ar archetype. And anything that can help out my boy Ron Vid, I'm all for it. So this is a really cool card. I like it a lot. Um, Vincent, he's a unit cursed beast. Destroy all the armor. Oh, destroy the armor of all units, then boost self by half the value destroyed. So it's like an armor hag, uh, but not with all the, um, you don't get all the units that you consumed or that are in your graveyard. Um, it's pretty good. It, uh, it seems like it can be a decent, it can win you probably round one if you got a lot of armor out there. Um, it's definitely something cool. It's, it's. It's it's nice that Northern Realms is getting a little bit of evil cards. Like this one's evil, and then the next card, this premium for this is insane. I don't know how to sell, say his name. Seltkirk. He's a unit officer cursed, and it says dual an enemy three armor. So this thing has ten strength, and I guess you just go blow for blow with whichever card you target. So if you pick somebody that's nine strength, he just knocks it. He he just basically goes turn for turn. They keep attacking each other until one of them dies. So if this thing has 10, you go up against something at 9, he's going to end up with 1 strength. So, I mean, granted, you're it's kind of like a... I guess, I guess you could play this with, like, Philippa <laughs> and just nuke their whole board. The premium on this is insane, though, man. I mean, absolutely insane. He, like, turns into this, like, purple-looking skull thing. The background goes, like, all hazy. It's just... I'll, I'll give it a try for sure. I don't know if, how good it's going to be. Um, Skoyatel. Um, first up, the Half-Elf Hunter. Unit Elf Soldier spawn a base copy of itself. So, spawn a base copy of itself. So you play this, you pull another one. How do you, I guess you would only play two of them though. Because, if you have a third one, you don't, you have no way to pull it back out. Or is it like, or is it like the uh, dwarven agitators where you just you can keep pulling more copies of it as long as you have copies of it in the deck? So yeah, you would you would you would probably only play two of these, the way I'm reading it. More maybe there's going to be a dwarf or an elf swarm deck. Who knows? Um, next card, Millian, Melina, Malin. Deal four damage to the units at the end of a row. So it takes out the bookends. So it's five and then four and four. So eight. I don't know about this one. This one doesn't seem good at all. Isengrim Outlaw. Spawn a silver special card or a silver Scoyatel unit. Oh, wow. So you can run two Isengrims now. This card's really good. 
I mean, you could just do so much, so many things with this. I hope there's a way to make Scoia'tael movement a little bit better. Because I, I love playing Scoia'tael movement. Skellige. Here's another item card. Um, it's the Bone Talisman. That you can resurrect a bronze beast. Um, so you can res the bears if you want to. Or it says, or heal an ally and strengthen it by three. You're probably going to use it for the beast thing, but I don't know about this one. This one doesn't seem like you'll want to, unless there's something that can pull these out of the out of your deck that's somewhere hidden in here that we can't see. If there is, it'll be a great card. To have extra reses in a skeleton in a faction that's got the most reses <laughs> um, next card is Darren it's a unit dim and cursed whenever an enemy is damaged boost this unit by one so it's like the old uh, axeman wherever an a enemy is damaged on the other side of the board it gains one it'll it'll help Harold out a little bit whether or not Axemen get some more love in these cards, probably they will. Harold needs all the help he can get. Now this card, this card is crazy. I think this card is is nuts. It's him, it's a Brockvar Cursed. Choose one, play a Cursed unit from your deck, or spawn a Silver unit from your opponent's deck. So spawn, I guess you get the option to pick three like the old old Burna brand where you got to pick from three different cards um, so you can actually win round one and if that po your opponent's playing a spy you can end up pulling their spy and if you have a spy in your deck you could play it man the card advantage on this is just stupid um, I, I, I think this card is going to be the sleeper card that people might not think is going to be good, but it just depends on how. I mean, if you play Nilfgaard, they always run spies, so you pull their Cantarella, man. Wow, they're. I mean, they could decoy it back or Amir it back, but getting that card out of them like that. You could pull Joachim. I mean, just so many things you can do to, to mess up their game plan with Nilfgaard. And their their silvers their silvers are just crazy. So other I mean other factions too. You can pull something really good, and it's it's pick from three. So I mean you got a 50-50 on getting their really good silver. So I don't know. I think this card is going to be really good. But uh, hey, that's the the cards. I'll I'll try and put out some more videos as they release them. Hopefully they uh, hopefully they let some some people reveal some cards <laughs> but uh like always guys thanks for watching and uh we'll see you here very soon with some more new cards and some new content later